Hello YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to another metal detecting video. As you can see from the intro, I'm at Dollar Lake today. We're gonna see what we can do. I don't know if it's gonna be sandy enough for the scoop, but we'll uh, try it out. If you guys like this video, or you like my last video or the video before that, make sure you hit the like button. Show some support. Comment, let me know what you would like to see next going forward period and that doesn't have to be just for the metal detecting channel or the metal detecting videos for whatever i'd like to know your guys opinion um another thing i'd like to know your guys opinion on is do you like the chest cam or do you think improvements could be made there basically yeah like i said let me know your thoughts in the comments and uh i'm gonna film a little bit of my walk in there and we'll uh, we'll see you down at the lake I can talk to you now because I'm alone and not look like a crazy person I'll uh I'll tell you a couple a couple things what did I want to say oh I remember okay so I've been watching some videos about the the mine lab 340 and 440 and from what I gather the numbers I was right they don't mean a whole lot so sometimes gold registers like down in the single digits like low and I've been leaving those targets so I'm gonna switch up tactics a bit we're gonna stay on all jewelry or jewelry but we're gonna switch to all metals see how that works out walking downhill and thinking about it not out of breath um, I don't know if you've seen them but there's been some flurries 
Uh, the weather today is supposed to go from okay to uh, a short period of flurries and then rain, so I gotta be careful. If I get stuck in the rain, I'll be sure to capture it on video and put my shame up on with this video. Yeah, I might as well tell you a little bit about Dollar Lake too. So Dollar Lake is a provincial park. It's in uh, Halifax County, near the airport. It's been a, a swimming destination for, you know, a hundred years. It's got some buildings, a boat launch on the other side, and a big sandy beach on this side. It's also got a campground over on the other side too. It's a really nice spot. I got other videos uh, featuring it here. It's I spent a good chunk of my childhood here. I used to come every night when my mother got off work. She would, uh, you know, God love her. She would get off work at five in the city, drive home, uh, grab a book, and then take us out to uh, out to swim. I can't imagine it was much fun for her. But if uh, if you still have your parents in your life, uh, try to see the good in them. I know not everyone's as lucky as me, but yeah. It's actually really nice out if the weather holds up. Looks like there's been activity here too. There wasn't the last time I was here. So they're getting ready for the season. If you look at this area specifically in Google Maps, in there, there's a, a big clearing. Looks like a gravel pit. Must be where they get their uh, aggregate for the road and stuff. Some weird things occurring around this place. And this would have been a a prime location before Europeans settled here. I can't imagine there was an activity going on here. I just found out recently from a, an archaeologist in the States I was watching videos of that the natives, the indigenous, um, built their settlements on top of hills. Well, we're on the bottom section of probably one of the bigger hills on this side of the peninsula anyway. You got the South Mountain up toward the valley, but and maybe I'll try to accompany this with a map if I think of it. I'm sure you've heard of the North Mountains, part of the Appalachian Range. If you Google it, be careful. I'll just say that. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, this would have been a prime location for activity. And today the airport's not. 20 kilometers uh, west, I guess. Southwest. This is lake country. And there's a river that snakes the valley as well, so this would have been a transportation route back then. That's my amateur opinion, by the way. I don't know a whole lot about it. I'd love to read more about it, though. If, you, if anybody here happens to know any literature on the subject I'd love to know. I've, been, I've also been looking for um, journals from the French when they landed here, but that seems to be hard to come by, which is kind of curious because it's well documented besides, well documented besides that. Is that something you guys would be interested in a video of? Maybe like um, Father Lacour's Le, Latour, however you say it, that war and the French, we call it the French and Indian War. It's uh, fascinating. There's some good pages about it on Facebook, actually. All right, I'm gonna shut up till we get down there, just in case there's people down there and they're hearing me talk to myself.
I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there it is. Imagine there was no road here. It's like 400 years ago. And you're just cresting this hill, peeking through the trees in late November or early December, and you can see through. And you know the lake's just downhill. Maybe you got a canoe on your back. Crazy, I can picture it, man. Maybe I'm just schizophrenic. There's more flurries. Uh, this probably would have been closer to the view that you would have had 200 years ago. Thick trees. Actually, probably thicker trees than this. Although, there are parts of this park that have old-ish growth forests. I could take you in and show you at some point. Not today, but if that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments. There's some beautiful forests here. people how are you guys today now oh whatever I can find <laughs> yeah mostly pennies and uh, like uh, quarters nickels yeah what's the little this little thing this no actually this guy the, the metal thing Oh, sorry, that's a, a scoop. And oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's stiff sand, yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. Well, yeah. I am interested about the thing right there where it clips. Oh. This? Yeah. Yeah, that's my camera. Oh, yeah. so you cam you... Film, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You yeah. come all the time? Uh, not here specifically, um, especially not in the summer when it gets busy. Yeah, um, yeah right, right. But, uh, yeah, I like to come here. It's really nice here. It's peaceful. It is peaceful. Yeah, yeah. yeah I ran into you guys maybe two weeks yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, you guys must like it here. You drive all the way. We do. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I mean, they've got all the new water lines in. Yeah. They've got the new. Oh, really? We electricity. Hadn't... Awesome. They're building. Yeah, we shelter. hadn't done this the loop up around it yet. They're putting, they're putting electricity in many of the sites up there. So yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's great. It, it needs it. Yeah, it's been a while yeah, since. It, yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. How old is it? Uh, well, at least a hundred years old. Um, I couldn't tell you for sure, but there's been people coming here for at least a hundred years. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's a, it's the it's the best lake in the area. It's really deep and uh, it's really big. People fish and yeah, yeah, yeah. lots of different types of fish apparently. Yeah, yeah, beautiful fish. Well, um, big eels as well. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, like uh, tw like I've heard like ten, twelve feet long. Yeah, really? yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't like I don't like that one. <laughs> we used to run into them when we were swimming as kids and it was like our worst fear when we were here, yeah. It was terrible. Good to know. <laughs> nice to see you guys again. Enjoy your walk. All right, I won't include them in the video for privacy reasons, but uh I ran into them a couple a couple weeks ago as well, really nice, uh, really nice couple. They come here to walk, and they drive quite a ways to come here, so that tells you uh, the allure this place has. Nova Scotia has um, literally the nicest people on earth, and um, I, uh, I dare you to question that. Find me friendlier people on earth. I know, uh, and this is probably counterintuitive to many people who are watching this, but many of the Middle Eastern nations are really uh, are known for their hospitality. So that might be a contender. And it's funny, when you get down to the States, the, when you think about stuff like that, it's really the South and Appalachia, when you think, for me anyway. Maybe the nice people just flood the the beautiful area around the mountain and they lined it and I still think there's more to the story than us Europeans showed up 400 years ago and killed a bunch of natives to keep this land I think there's more to the story than that and we have arrived
Hopefully you guys stuck with me after that long walk. And hopefully I get to stay here more than a couple minutes. Oh, of course, it's windy. Wouldn't be a metal detecting video with me if it wasn't windy. So when I was here last, the water was, I think, right here, I think. So the waters went down a good, you know, two meters. And I've learned a lot about my metal detector since, uh, since I was here last. So let's hope we can find something today, something cool. Just give you an idea of what I was talking about earlier. If you go over that way, that's the boat launch, this beach. And usually the water is much lower than this. Like when I was a kid, the water would have been, you know, another, another six or eight meters out there. You know, which is interesting. It's springtime too though, so it will go down some in the summer. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna get the metal detector and I'll bring you back if I find anything. Okay, finally seem to have a strong signal. It's odd though. Right here somewhere. Little tiny piece of aluminum or something. That's gonna be it. That's crazy. It's actually crazy that that was reading like a 12. All right, onwards. All right, I don't know what this is. It took me forever to find it. Yeah, that's a weird, man. It seems junky, but... And there also might have been a fire there at one point. I'm gonna move away from here, I think. Oh. That was embarrassing. I used to be good at skipping rocks. Alright, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough for a video, this is so bad, but I just found this in there. Don't know what it is exactly, but it's... Looks like it might be old. Not sure. Alright, it was another struggle, but this is another odd little find. I don't know what it is. Weird. Finally have a target. I might actually like. Seems to be somewhere here. Okay. Oh, I see it, I think. Yeah. Aluminum foil. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Bro. Finally. We got a ring. Looks like it might be a... Like, I don't want to say it is, but it might be white gold. Cool. That really, uh, that really invigorates this, uh, search, let me tell you. Oh, and just for reference sake, that was reading, like, uh, 20? Somewhere around there. So, who knows, really, what it is. Nice heart, though. Got myself some free fishing tackle here. I can see why they left it though. They had that tangled up real nice. It's it's funny, I think this was buried. So I wonder if this didn't come in with the flood and get stuck. And then when the water's left, this stayed. There we got it. Now I just gotta make sure not to stab myself. I should really go get a tetanus shot to be honest with you. All right. Got another signal. It's actually very similar to the to the ring signal. Man, I've been having some serious trouble getting getting uh, stuff out of the ground here, dude. It's crazy. Okay, I think it's out. I thought. I don't know what that is. Wow, 
that's cold. No idea what that is. Any ideas, let me know in the comments. It's rusting anyway. Yeah, we got a little bit of snow coming. I think I'm gonna look for another minute here, then I'm gonna split. I don't know what it is, but it's out. Where are you at? I thought it was out. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a button of some sort. Like a little jean snap button. I don't think it's old. It's a fine though. All right. Got a real nice target here. I gotta get going though. I think we got it. No. Huh. I don't know if that's thunder or if that's an airplane. I think it's an airplane. Dude. What is going on here? Is that it? Yeah? I can't tell if that's a... Uh... Ah. I can't tell if that's a screw head or if it's a button. Weird. Don't got time to screw around and find out though. It's the weather's getting pretty shitty. Hey, it looks like unfortunately I might have put off leaving a little too long. I gotta shut my metal detector off now. Detector off now. And I gotta go. Before this snow turns to rain. If you guys have enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button subscribe for more metal detecting adventures and whatever else i plan to do in the future that i would love to involve your suggestions in jesus okay here we go all right guys we'll catch you next time peace